Now I want you two to get good rest. What if I have a bad dream? Oh, I'm sure we can handle any dream you have. What if I dream that you sent us away into the dark and me get hurt? Really hurt? And what if I'm so sad and scared of the dark out there that I put poison in me for years and years until my blood turns into poison and my heart breaks right in half and I can't feel anything happy. Hell, I can't stand it anymore and I, I have to die in time on a silver table. It's my jaw wired shut. Would you wake us up from a dream like that? We're not like any other family. We're different because of where we grew up. Hill House. Your mother, she was not crazy. Neither was your sister, neither is your brother, neither are you. It's that house. You don't have to worry now, sweetie. That really bad dream? Of course I'd make you. A. D. N. It's headphones nail! What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews and my continuing reviews for um, this year's month of horror reviews. So for this review it's going to be the Netflix show The Haunting of Hill House. So I finally was able to get through all the episodes as long as they were and at times slow and a bit depressing as they were. But I was able to push through and especially after the first couple of episodes it really picked up as far as story and intrigue and interactions between the various characters, namely the children. So as far as the show goes, it deals with children who grew up uh, living in a house that was haunted and then going and then fast forwarding to their grown up lives and how living in that house impacted them and it was coming back to haunt them as far as their memories go and what um, they had or the experiences that had traumatized them as kids at um, during their childhood and over the course of all of that during the course of the show. So initially when you're watching the show it does have a lot of back and forth between the children in their uh, younger years and then their older years so it does get a bit um, tiring I want to say just be, I was gonna say I would say or annoying but it does get more tiring because you do have to remember events that have happened previously and not necessarily in the same episode but in prior episodes the show does do a pretty good job to recap events that you've seen so there might be you'll see like some episodes start with um, scenes that you've seen before but it is because over the course of the show they do elaborate a lot on what the scene was along the lines of like a different point of view so they show a scene early on for example and then later on they'll expand on it provide more information more context and the um, the, the best example in the show is the storyline of um, Nelly and the bent neck lady. So over the course of the childhood, Nelly is afraid of this bent neck lady, and then later on, as she gets older, the bent neck lady comes back. And as it turns out, that lady turned out to be her, um, as she had committed suicide, as she was um, hallucinating um, life in the house, and her mom giving her a necklace that um, she had always wanted, that Nelly had always wanted. But in reality, it turns out to be a noose. So the show does take a lot of dark turns. But one of the things that you realize is that each um, child has their own personality. And this is something that I had to look up in the trivia. And as it turns out, each of the children in the story represent a different stage of grief tied to their mother, which is the tying factor in the whole show in that all of the children are suffering from the various stages of grief from the loss of their mom who they had initially blamed on their father but as it turns out and as his character was built on over the course of the show is that he is known to not tell the children all the impertinent information of what's going on 
and as it turns out he was keeping a secret in that the prior the family that was living there to be, act as caretakers of the house had lost their own daughter and they had asked him to not let anybody else own the house so nothing else bad goes on or can happen to anybody else after their daughter but they also want to hang on to their the memory of their daughter by being able to visit her in that house so all of that tied together by the end of the season came out to be very well done um so the acting by nelly was very good um, my favorite story arc though i want to say is probably luke's story arc because of his inquisitive nature as a child and how closely tied he was to his twin sister or i assume his twin sister was i wasn't really sure about if he was actually twins with nelly but his close connection to her ultimately um falling into drug abuse later in life while going in and out of rehab homes um borrowing money from his family losing the connection and trust with his older brother that he had because of the lies and the drug abuse and all that but then ultimately um finding purpose in uh someone else in the rehab and recovery program in the lady i forget the lady's name but i want to say joey maybe but um ultimately finding purpose and helping someone as someone who cared about him and ultimately getting clean and living a clean life by the end of the season so all of that worked out nicely and especially by the end of the episode or end of the season everybody um had overcome their individual stages of grief and that they all had to stop basically the lesson of the story was that um instead of boxing things up and putting them behind walls you need to discuss it talk it out work through it get through it even though it's going to be really hard and make your way through the um grief that you're suffering from and that's the only way to recover from and get over it and move on with your life and make it a part of your life that it's something that you are unable to change and learn from it and grow from it and all of that good stuff so all in all while it was not so while it initially presented itself as a scary story it was the children grew up in a haunted house the house presented them with various dreams and all of that they lost their mother there it provided a good lesson as far as the difficulties in overcoming grief, the family structures that could fall apart by holding on to your grief and not, you know, being honest with each other, by not um, telling each other or talking to each other, working with your siblings and all of that can create create more problems than um, solutions to be solved. So in general, I would recommend watching the show. Um, like I said, because it does go all over the place initially, it does it is a kind of hard watch in the beginning it is kind of slow and all that but as you continue to watch through all the episodes it does progressively um add more information to all the various um story arcs that are going on so by the time you get to the season finale and watch the end of the season it all ties together nicely and provides for a good uplifting theme um through the all the horror that the various siblings had to go through so that's all there is for this particular review and it actually makes me want to watch the sequel series also on netflix called um the haunting of blind manor i believe it is so mostly the same thing and it's supposed to be a sequel um to this um series of, of the haunting of hill house so um as far as upcoming um reviews go so the next review is going to be the original grudge film the one that the sarah michelle geller um film was based on so um after that the plan to watch uh so first is to watch ju on the grudge and then watch the haunting of blind manor um so look out for those reviews coming soon but if you have any feedback, comments, things I missed, things you liked, didn't like about The Haunting of Hill House, you can comment on this post on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And of course, you can support the show and provide your own feedback, get early access, get early access to upcoming content, and all that good stuff on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But thanks for tuning in to this particular episode, and until next.